Hello and welcome, this is S Terror Inc. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's Mod. I did a little bit of investigation into what may be a uh, strong hand to play against um, our um, challenge here. And I'm going to go with the two um, Ringworms and Mantis God combo. And we'll set things up to uh, see what we can do. Um, Let's see, I think I'm going to go with 80 points via this way, and um, hopefully this won't be too hard once we get things set up. So the strategy I read was to use um, Flame on Ringworms to uh, sacrifice one of them, and then bulk up the uh, Mantis God. Um, and I'm actually not sure what to do with the other one, but we'll see. Okay, no, it looks like no insects on the board, so let's go with Wolverine, because it sounds interesting, and I guess Grizzly as well. Okay. I may end up getting a super buff. Um, Ring worm out of all this. Oh, looks like we are starting to get one. So we'll uh, alternate them until one of them passes away, I guess. Okay, war grant and ring worm. So I guess we gotta start with our um, ring worm on the board. We'll put it over here. Still gonna be able to take out that skunk, that's pretty hilarious. And now we can get the grizzly on the board. Um, let's see, I have to sacrifice the ring one, which is a little bit unfortunate, but that's okay. I almost have enough to get our um, ring on the board, too. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and do it because I'd like to see it um, get on the board. Oh, of course it's not going to be able to do anything with this guy. Oh, we just got out of time. Alright. Here we go. We should get some excess damage because of this. Good. Alright, let's see. I don't see a fire event either way. Um, I might put Gold Reed's power on our this god so it continues to grow strong. I think that would be an interesting way to do things. Okay. Let's see. I don't think I want to spend anything yet. I'd like to save up for a golden pearl if possible. Okay. This will be an interesting way of doing things. The strategy I saw actually was to get um, the um, bifurcated, not bifurcated, but the uh, double strike. But I want to go with having the Warrior's ability on the Mantis God because I think that may actually end up being stronger overall than the uh, double attack. Okay, well, we'll at least take these two out. That'll help with. Um, We'll take out this one, and that'll help with that skunk that's uh, coming coming down the pipeline. There we go. See, now we're stronger. That's going to be a big help. There we go. Now we have enough to get our grizzly, but unfortunately that fur is still there. Wow, five. Dang. This is going to be really hard to stop. And we could get it un an undying something or another, so I think we'll hold on to that. Okay, let's use our weaker um, ringworm and flame it until maybe we uh, get it consumed. 
Okay, good. That means that we can continue to buff up our um, Mantis God on it. So if we get it deployed, we'll be uh, sitting pretty, I think. Okay, Kingfisher, Bullfrog, and a Beehive. Okay, well, um, let's seek out the Beehive, I suppose. And we'll put this block the attack by the Bullfrog. Alright, so far so good. And we get us a bee. Alright, almost have enough to get us our uh, other guy on the board, but we'll hold off for now. And Mantis God continues to grow in strength. Look at that. Four. We're gonna win the game without even having to put our grizzly on the board. I can't believe I never explored this strategy before. Like, it's kind of wild to me that uh, I didn't see this possibility before. <laughs> it's really broken. Wow. With that alone, I think it, we're very close to being able to afford us a golden pelt, even with pricey pelts turned on. Okay, Ant Queen, I'll take it. Alright, let's see. Now we could have a cockroach that generates ants and um, is unkillable, so it's kind of a weird combo, but I think that I like it. Unless I think something that will consume the bones of the many creatures I'll kill with the mantis is a uh, good idea in my book. Alright, thank you, Pack Rat. Glad I waited about consuming any of my items, even though I could have been consumed in this match um, since I have Pack Rat. Alright, prepare to meet your match. Alright. Well, if you have a um, ringworm, we can get going off the bat. So, let's see. Or we could get risen on the board in one turn. So, I think that's the way I'll take this. We get enough bone to get our cockroach on the board, too. Okay. And, yeah, so this will get us to the second phase. And the next turn, we should be able to put a worker ant on the board. Okay. So, let's do. Let's see, we're gonna have a few problems here because the Grizzly's only attacking It should survive. And we'll lose the Cockroach, however, um, which isn't ideal. So, let's go ahead and take this out too, just for being able to replenish our um, situation with the cockroach that we want to use. Okay, and that should spawn us an ant. There we go. This is a great way to generate ants over and over. I love it. And this should be enough to win us. There we go. Wow. Yeah, just really. So, uh, I really can't believe I hadn't tried this strategy before, so I'm super happy with it. Okay. If I could get a millworm and have the mantis god consume it too, that would just be unbelievably cool. I think I'll take corpse maggots and have that auto deploy for the grizzly so that it can come out and uh, get the party started sooner. Alright, let's see, do we see any fireplaces? Looks like nothing. Um, now I can make a duplicate of something and that something could be a mantis god. Um, I think that makes a lot of sense. Don't need autumns horribly bad. I do kind of need them though. Got enough teeth that I'm overflowing, so maybe I should go this way instead of the duplication. Um, I don't know. Let's go the duplication route. 
it's hard to pass up. Yes, no worm. That's what I was looking for. Just having that to be able to boost um, my cards will be amazing for the Nathan's gods. Okay. If I got a two and two Nathan's god, that would be amazing. Hey, a two and one, and a one and one still. So I could have a three and two. Even better. Probably gonna start building out my single situation too, else I'm gonna have some trouble. Wolf cub and a uh, mole. Let's go like this and then put this down. There we go. And that wins it already, so nothing to worry about. Alright. So, let's see what else we have up here. I guess let's head towards getting items. I want you to want to go to the woodcutter. It does concern me a little bit. And let's get... How about the river sniper? I'm taking a couple hits. So I'd like to get the no one, but I just don't know if we'll have enough events to take the wood then. Okay. Well, this is a decent combo. Kind of a range of basic so. Alright, Raven and Sparrow. Sounds like a job for our Mathis gods. <laughs> I've got both of them in my hand. So let's play the weaker one out first and go from there. Okay, and they're gonna do their silly little shuffle. I think it's just about ready to be game over now. Wow. I think this is a so wacky. Good thing we're gonna get a wood card there. Another insect, please. If I can get um, resurrecting insects or something, that's gonna be crazy. Well, trinket bearer with insects would be pretty cool to some great results, and we have a duplicate event coming up too, so I guess let's head towards, um, let's see, should we do blood, perhaps? Maybe getting a three blood? We have corpse magnets so that we can level up, and that'd be a two and four situation there. Um, same thing with Mantis God, we could double them up, they're so strong already, I just don't know if it's worth it having two and one bloods. Especially since we can use Millworm. Um, let's head over here and we'll look for another insect card. Maybe we'll get lucky in that return. Alright, Raven and a Sparrow, and they have some stinky on them. I guess let's set out our strong guy, and it's going to win first turn, so nothing to worry about. Okay. Give me a good insect. Come on. Working it. Okay. And another pack rat. Maybe I should combine the pack rats up. It's gonna be a four and four, and I get an item. Um, Maybe that'd be a better strategy than losing the corpse maggots. I think I'll do that instead. They do plus two blood. If I uh, had pack rat that was twice as strong as base one, that really makes it worth the extra blood. Okay. I'm feeling good about this run. Let's just uh, put our head on our shoulders and think that things will be okay. So they have mighty leap for this one. Um, it's not too big of a deal. Um, we could go ahead and get our grizzly on the board, have it take out the pack mule or the coyote. I think that I will go for that actually. There we go. And let's just uh, hang out. Grizzly 
guess we should take out that whole column, as a matter of fact. Good. I think it'll mostly take out the fat mule, too, as well. in the end. Hopefully the pack mule stays in its place. Yeah, it did. So I can put a worker in it down and that'll give us um, the pack mule's cards. Excellent. She's gonna have to get a bigger bowl to hold all the teeth and getting in excess damage. <laughs> all right, sharp quills. Putting that on something like maybe the uh, grizzly would be interesting. Or um, I guess I can't put another one on the mantis gods. Maybe one of the corpse maggots for its auto deploy would be pretty funny. That sounded like the most fun I could have with these cards, so we'll do it. Alright, a cave event. I'm noticing I'm still not having any um, fire events too, so kind of burning that one just didn't really seem to get us where we need to be. Alright, there's two sigils, third and fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. I'm feeling decent about that. Or might sounds decent as well. Um, I think we'll go with four might here. Oh wow, lost it. That was a stinker. Alright, frozen possum. Guess we could try for another cave event. The cards that we get out of those are just so good and can't resist. I need to get a totem belt too. That's another thing I'm lacking. Alright, two elf fawns coming in hot and they're stinky. Um, I believe I should just be able to park this guy and everything will be okay. I'm gonna go immediately to the next hand, so here we go. Nothing to worry about. I don't know if Leshy's ever seen me uh, clear the board this quickly before. Four blood, three sigil, let's do sigil this time. Oh man, terrible luck. Two cave events in a row. At least we're about to get another pack rat. Kind of this Uber pack rat, it's six and six on its stats. <laughs> the fun guy event that's coming up. Um, yeah, and I've only got the one pelt still, so I'm gonna 
I trade those in, so that makes sense. I don't think I need yet another pack rat, so um, I'm gonna go to the cave event and the fungi, and we'll go from there. Maybe we'll get a special pack rat or something special for the cave event. All right, Stinky and a Wolverine. So let's do our Mantis God. pack rats. Um, thinking I might have to either cut something or put down our two blockers here, but this raven egg is not going to die in time, unfortunately. I think the alpha is going to throw off our plans. Um, I wish I could cut it before it makes its way down here. Oh, that really stinks. I don't think you can. Um, so let's put a boulder over, hmm, I'm just say in front of our Wolverine, yeah, we might as well. Okay, my alpha is going to throw things off for us a little bit here, um, still have a chance to draw something decent, or the ringworm can take it out. Um, so let's just do that. That'll depower the ravens. They'll only be able to do an attack of four. Um, which makes me tempted to cut one of them. I think that actually I will, because I really want to hold on to our uh, candlesticks. Let's do it like this. Okay. And now we can get us a powerful pack rat on the board. Here we go. I think that it'll be able to turn things around on its own, actually. Wow, they are just rushing me with everything they've got. Dang, I may not be able to return fire here. Um, we've got the frozen possums aren't going to be able to clear anything out. And this pack rat can take out a decent amount of damage, but this guy is going to come back and get us. Um, so unless we get us a special item here, I don't think it will be able to get out of this situation. Yep, we're going to lose this match. Um, I guess that's what I get for getting too cocky about my setup. Things happen, huh? <laughs> wow. Talk about feeling uh, like you're on a super strong run to getting a wall. Okay. Let's see what we get now. I think sigils are going to be the way to go again. You know, I haven't won. Oh my goodness. Boy, it's luck. I think the game's punishing me for uh, all my boosting earlier. Alright. Let's make us a uber pack rat. Um... It'll be unstoppable. Six and six. More powerful than the Gizzy. And it generates an item that a Grizzly does not. Alright. Mantis God. And we have a wild bull coming in that has bifurcated strike. That's okay, because our Mantis God will go right in front of it and it will be missed. get that and let's put let's see our wild bull with the porcupine are going to do four damage and the mantis god unfortunately won't be able to get anything in so let's put a frozen possum down over here and fortunately we're going to lose our uh, mantis god but it will clear out most of the board for us which is good there we go okay now we can get River Snapper going. Oh boy. This is no good. Um, 
Let's see. Don't know if we'll be able to uh, stop this situation that's coming at us now. Um, River Snapper will do one damage, but that's not going to be enough to uh, take anything. Wild Bull will die in the next turn. Um, so we may have just enough time to get our Porcupine on the board. Oh, it's over. Just like that. Um, I should have... Well, there's nothing I could have done. I guess I could have put another boulder down. So, that was a mistake. Okay. Well, I definitely uh, got a little too excited thinking that we were going to carry it through um, super quickly, but let's try it again. And this time, I think I'll try focusing on getting a uh, totem completed quickly and um, that might make the difference. And I do want to try the strategy of using the Dire Wolf's sigil on one of the Mantis gods. Um, so I think I'll get it and I will get Field Mice just in case we can. If we do end up duplicating the Mantis god, I could get um, them combined and um, one of them will have Kunudi on it and we would be able to make duplicates. That would just be wicked cool. Okay. Alright, good. We got the flame event. Let's take out the ringworm in our first try. So, that's awesome. Okay. Let's get our Mantis God on the board out of the way. Okay, I think that we've already won, but let's see. Yep. Nowhere to go, buddy. Okay. So, I guess since we do have a fireplace there, maybe I should go up there and give the Mantis God some power. See another fire event coming up too. Ah, oh, now a dying and cocoonity on the Mantis God. Maybe that would be better. Okay, yeah, this guy is not going away now. I see another uh, fire event coming up. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be pretty ridiculous. Alright, Raven and Sparrows and. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about the situation, so I'm going to pull a tooth, and um, I think we'll go ahead and get this, and we will just have to wait a turn now. Okay. So, yeah, less than ideal, but I think we kind of had to let it go. So now, we can play our dire <laughs> And we'll play it over here for maximum assurance that we're going to make it. The Sparrow should move over and we'll be able to take it out and get two more damage while we're at it. Okay. Wow, so much damage at once. It's really kind of ridiculous. Um, we can almost get the Field Mice on, but not quite. And unfortunately, I don't have a way to block them from doing more damage because we have used everything up. And once again, I think that 
the airborne guys are causing us problems. Um, if I got field mice on the board, I don't think it'll matter. Unfortunately, I just want to lose uh, this match. Man, what a roller coaster of emotions I'm having on this one tonight. I should buff up the round worm now if uh, it's attack power it is so I could give it two attack power and uh, that would at least give it some ability I mean this mantis god is so strong already okay so yeah having a stream worm have some strength would be good um, now I could put un undying on this mantis god so you'll get it back so I think that I will go for that. I think that's part of my problem is if we lose it, um, we're just in big trouble. So let's take it like so. And if we get to have a duplicate of this card, um, you know, we'd have two of them or we can combine it and have like a mega one that's like six to 10. But I think having two separate ones so we have a higher chance of drawing them makes the most sense. Alright, we got the Mantis God uh, straight from the beginning, so we can go straight to phase two. No problem. And it's undying, so it'll come back into our hand. Wow. Okay, so let's just uh, play it again. Um, yeah, we'll take it for its sigils. I don't really like the tentacle monster ones. They just are so strangely situational. It's hard to really root for them. I'm going to head up here since there's a duplicate event. I'd love to have the second one of my uh, Mantis Gods that's unkillable. It's already pretty powerful, so... Okay. Now, if I got this and this one other thing that had health, I would win. Um, bone, I definitely can't win. And blood, I think, has a low chance, so let's go with health. Okay, we got it. Alright, field mice that are morsel and have bees within. Um, and a touch of death, card counting, burrower, tentacle. Wolf that's unkillable in Rampager. Um, I'm gonna go with the field mice because if I can combine them with my other field mice, um, that would be fantastic. Be pretty good for generating my army um, and such. Okay, here we go. Still enough to uh, get me straight to a second round if there's nothing absorbing hits. Alright, boulders are going to make things a little bit tricky, but I mean, this is still going to get sick, so um, should be an instant win again. Alright, got to start building my totem as much as I want to go elsewhere. I think I've, I've got to get that started or else I'm going to be in trouble. So let's do it. It's a thing that I uh, keep letting slip by, so got to stop that. Alright, Morsel. I'll take it. Killable Mantis Gods. Um, now these have sharp quills, so I better put down the stronger of the two to like, well, either of them are definite one turn win, so we'll do that. Okay, um, for combining things, I could get. 
get my field mice combined up, then that would be a four and four beast, and have Trinity Greenies with him, and Morsel. Um, but I really probably should focus on getting my um, totem done. So, just looking to see if there's anywhere else. Let's go for the totem. Kinda hate to pass the fungi event, but this way it's gotta be sometimes. Oh, there's another fungi up event up ahead. Well, let's get um let's see. Maybe the morsel on I don't have any birds in. We'll do this just so we have an animal um, completed here. Or a totem completed, I should say. Alright, this mantis god will come close to completing its powers, or uh, uh, completing our goal here of winning one turn. I won't get it quite, but it'll get us most of the way. Enough to uh, withstand this wild bull situation too, so let's go for it. Okay, and I think that we are good to continue with what we have. Now we can get our field mice down. Still sending out quite a strong uh, show of enemies against me. Nice. As long as I can keep that candle lit. Let's go up to three blood. Fizzly. Alright. I think going to the fungi event would be a good idea because I can get us a buff filled mice run. Okay, I think that'll be better than doubling up on our Mantis Gods. So if I can have two lanes of Mantis Gods, um, that would be really wicked. Okay, decent items, I'd say. strange frogs. So let's go ahead and do that. And it's unkillable too. And we could get our elk farm started. Um, unfortunately it's going to die, but it'll be worth getting a uh, fur piece. Uh, 
kind of melt through the defenses like this. Ooh, a beaver. Um, what would we want to do with it? Maybe put its ability on the dire wolf? Or the dire wolf's on the beaver? That'd be funny. Cost a little bit less. I mean, they make... Let's see. I guess we would need fledgling to make the dams attack, though. I'm just thinking of a different situation. Okay. We only do have two pelts, so we could trade them in, but... I think I'd rather go this way so we can stop by the woodcarver again and maybe get something better than what we have currently. Alright. Thinking two of kin would be best. We got decent odds as long as we don't draw a pelt. Wow, man. The game is robbing me tonight. Okay. We'll do insect morsel. See another duplication event. So we have a, let's see another mantis god that has attack power of three. All right, mud turtle is incoming. Let's just go ahead and get this guy on. And I'll get this plus four. Okay, I think that it doesn't matter. I think that we've already got this one in the bag. Yep. Good. Alright. Duplicate event. We could get this another Mantis God. We could try for the 3 and 5 one. Um, we could merge Mantis Gods. I think that's all I want. I'm not super interested in that. I think I would rather duplicate it again since we have unkillable. We can. We'll take it and run. Okay. It'd be crazy if we had all four lanes with these uh, unkillable three and up uh, main distance attackers. <laughs> Sigil. That's uh, going to be a strong one to use against me, I think. But too bad. We're going to win in one turn. We're not going to mess around and try to uh, give them any opening. We're just going to run with it. Ooh, another Mantis. Um, let's take... I guess the mantis, because that's an insect and that's what we have. Alright, now I could use a duplicate event to combine up one of these mantis gods into like a 5 and, five and 8, or a 6, let's see, 5 and 10. Um, that'd be wicked powerful. Or I could try boosting up something, um, maybe that mantis so we can have a row of nothing but manti. That would be pretty funny, actually. So, let's see. I think I want to go this route and have the Mantis. This is far too powerful. I wonder what the point of having the pelts double that does. Maybe it makes them stronger. Uh, I didn't give me a choice, but this is okay. I think this is what I wanted was 5 and 10. gets on the board it should obliterate anything I mean if it hits on any lane it's game over so all right looks like we gotta get an elk on started um, we have a rattler coming in with a bifurcated strike so I might play it a possum in this lane to prevent its attack pinning and we have um, an ant queen so not much here to start with so let's play our possum card to block that rattler when it comes in. Okay. 
and let's see what else. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of problems with these adders using bifurcated strike. I don't like that. Um, not one bit. So I guess we'll draw from here and I wanna go ahead and let's see. I'd like to cut a card, but don't know if that's the best decision at this point, so let's see what happens first. Alright, Possum will take out that card, um, which isn't really enough. We really need to get one of these guys on the board. Um, so I guess we're seeing a crack in our potential here. Um, could kill the Rattler and the Possum would stay on for another turn. So I guess we'll do that just to have something here to help. And we got to get something down. Um, don't have any pelts. Squirrel would prevent that rattler from winning. However, um, I guess I would just be able to get the alpha down. So let's do this for now. Okay. Alright, now we can get, I guess, this card and a rabbit pelt. <laughs> Alright, so if I get the alpha down, how could it help? We're going to lose the possum, but the alpha could sit here, and the skink could take out the alpha in a couple of turns. However, the possum would do extra damage and hit the skink as well. Um, now I could put down the alpha and have the pelt, you know, help me attack forward here. Um, but that would bring out the adder on the next turn and I would lose my possum and um, I lose my possum to the adder. This guy would come in and then do some damage. And these guys will do some damage. And I'm already so low, I don't think I can handle all that. Okay. Um, Ant Queen has Morsel on it. So I can't get it on the board either. I think I'm just going to have to play my Alpha. Hmm. I guess in front of the Beehive. This may be a mistake, but... Let's just try it out and see what happens. Okay, now we have a B, so we can get our ant queen in the next turn. So maybe this will work out, actually. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to choose wisely here. I think that I'll go with this one. Yes, perfect. Now we have enough that we can really hit these guys hard. And with uh, Morsel, it'll boost us up even more. So let's go like that. Wow, eight. So that should eliminate all three of those leads. Okay. This is what we needed. And um, let's see, now we have enough that we could get our dire wolf down. <laughs> and get like 15 XSTs or something here. <laughs> okay, wow, that was intense. I didn't think I'd be able to turn that around. It's, it's starting to be extra tough on me. Like, I don't know if you noticed that ramp up there, but that really um, was an increase in difficulty. All right, items for a try for another totem. I think I want to Let's see, we have a duplicate situation here too, so we could get the mantises paired up. I'm a little bit of afraid to go into a boss fight without something. Um, so I want to get items and we'll get the next one. There we go. There we go. That feels pretty good. This is an angler too, so there is a small chance that I'll need to use that fan so that we can do airborne damage instead. Alright. Okay. 
I like how it gets nice and quiet before the boss battle. It's creepy. Alright, birds that are gonna get stronger if they kill, but pretty sure none of its birds are gonna kill. Oh no, this isn't good having a bait bucket um, to start with, but we can put our mantis guy down and it's not gonna matter. In fact, let's put it here so that it can take out the raven it ends up sticking around. And we can put the smoke in front of the bait bucket since we know it'll get activated. Nope, okay. And let's see. I guess we need to start saving up for our dire wolf. Or well, we could go ahead and play it now, actually. Um, Oh, that was a little bit of a waste of our goat. I should have gone ahead. The mantis guy is going to win anyways. But, oh well. It's kind of fun to see all the power on the board at once. <laughs> Even if this one ends up with me losing because I jumped ahead and lost it. I don't want to show that it was still exciting and fun to watch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, another dire wolf. That could be a fun combo event. Um, that is a risk that I draw it though. I'm tempted to go with the two blood river snapper instead and just like sacrifice it. But maybe we'll do this. Alright. Okay. I actually moved so quickly I didn't realize that it was final boss time. So we are shy one item. Um, trading in our pelts may make the most sense because we have four of them. Um, and getting items. Man, I just wish I could combine more stuff. Uh, let's see. Maybe Dire Wolf's double attack on this Mantis pair would be pretty cool. And these pelts can be used to block some stuff. I think I'll do that. Might not be a perfect situation, but it'll be pretty nice. Let's do it over here. I think I do want to stick with this guy. Yeah. This will make up for this mantis being a little bit weaker than the other ones. Hope you're ready, Leshy. I don't have an ideal totem, so I think that'll be potentially my biggest weak point this fight. But we're gonna see what we can do. Oh, and a mole man coming in. That's not good. Alright. Well, a beaver can put down dams, so maybe we'll do that to block out the amalgam. win into a loss. Um, well, it was a good run. 
and I think that next stream I'll have um, some good ideas on how to do better. The difficulty definitely scaled up though. Like I feel like what Leshy just sent after me just now was one of the hardest I've had in a long time. I think if it saw how much power I was getting in those Mantis cards and uh, yeah, most skill damage in one turn, 20. I mean, look at that. I only sacrificed 24 squirrels across that whole run. Like, that is ridiculous. Um, when you think about it, I mean, I was approaching probably like one and a quarter squirrels per match because of the uh, mantises getting used over and over. Um, anyways, that felt fantastic. So I'm going to take a pause there, and uh, we'll go ahead and roll credits and say thanks for watching. It's been S-Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S-Tier Rank, and I'll have a replay on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good day.